There's your beeping again. It ain't stopping, is it? No, I don't. I don't think that it will. Anyways, well, it looks like we have five power stars left to go. <sighs> wow, how many years have I been playing this? I've lost count. But we have five stars left. This whole game is coming to an end, and <sighs> I kind of don't want it to. This is just this has gone with me for years. It's a part of who I am. Uh, fast full comet in orbit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Well, it looks like I'll go there. Um, if I want to switch something, though, I go to this guy. Like, if I want more levels to be, like, uh, how do you say? Uh, if I want more levels to appear, I'm gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna have to use this guy. But the problem is, if I do that, I'm afraid that um, the, uh, this comet is gonna go away. So, based on all the information that I have here, the proper way to do this is to go over there. Actually, I don't even know why I need this, but... Oh, no, I thought I needed it. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna be doing... Oh no, I thought that was the bedroom that I was supposed to go in. Like, like I thought where to go. And then I thought, no wait, second guess myself. It's not in the, uh, it's it's not up here. It's in the bedroom, and then it's up here. <laughs> oh god, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I really don't. Um, but yeah. Anyways, like I was saying before that whole confusion, or pfft, before me being confused anyway. Um, I'm gonna do this level right here, and then after I beat this. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to that uh, character and switch everything. If I do it anyway else, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this one disappear. So I might as well just do it. Fast folk coming in orbit. And yeah, as I mentioned before, you get this by you know going to the uh, <clears throat> going to that branching path, like I did last episode, which took like no time at all. It was like ten minutes. Yeah, I cut off my. Thing. Accidentally. Or like, I timed it and I didn't think it would take longer. So that's my fault. Not necessarily... Like, I didn't go up and then just hit cancel. Like, that was before. I preset it to that. Um... But yeah, I was kind of talking about something at the end of this episode, wasn't I? And I totally forget what it is now. Um, oh yeah, basically like all the remakes that Nintendo has done and are doing still. Um, I've got Wait, did I just go backwards? What am I doing? Yeah, I'm gonna go this way, only to go back. Okay, um, what am I even thinking anymore? My, my mind is just everywhere today, I don't know why, but it just is. Uh, is there a switch down here? Yes, there is. Probably, uh, can I switch the camera a bit? No, I can't. Okay. Different angles are, uh... You know. Different angles are good, right? You gotta try them all just to see what works best. Oh, God. I didn't mean that in that way. <laughs> oh, and I... I guess you're looking for some sort of laugh. Oh, There you go. I didn't give much effort. Oh, I don't, I, I don't do that anymore, so it's not really a big deal. Um, wait, that'd be a bad idea. Oh god, is this, this, this is like the safest way, but I have to press the switch again, unfortunately. Okay, that's my punishment. Okay, do it again. Now I'll be on my way. <clears throat> Actually, I think I just realized this, but like... Oh, can I show it? Okay. Like... It's like beyond the health bar, but there's like a smile above his eyes. It's like his upside down unibrow, but it's like a smile because there's the like teeth structure. Like, look at that. You see that? It's just oh, it's so weird, man. Um, but yeah, I don't really like how Nintendo is doing a lot of remakes lately. In fact, a lot of this generation is just remakes, and I oh, and I oh, and I don't like that. I gotta judge where that middle part is. There it is. My Wii Remote is rumbling every single time. 
Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I can't really count how many remakes there are this, like, this generation. And, like, for Nintendo alone. I don't know anything else, really, unless I think about it, but, um, yeah. In terms of Nintendo, there's just too many remakes or remasters or whatever you want to call it. Not everything is bad, but... How are you supposed to get that? Oh. You're supposed to be on the floor doing it, not on this thing. Never mind. Oh well. I messed out on star bits. My bad. Not a big deal. I mean, I'm trying to count. Like... Let's see, like, for the 3DS... Or actually, no, I'll save the 3DS for after. Like, for Wii U, there's, um... The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, HD. There's The Legend of Zelda. Okay. The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess HD. Uh... What other remakes are there for Wii U, actually? <laughs> I feel stupid. I feel dumb now. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, I'll just go to 3DS. Um, I know at launch there was Rayman 3D, which is Rayman 2 The Great Escape. Uh, there is... Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. Or is it Street Fighter 4 3D Edition? Uh, I don't know. Hey look, I'm already here. How helpful is that? Yes! Huh. Right, dang it! Come on. Let's just get that Power Star, please. If I can't jump into it, I'm just gonna home in on it. That works, right? Yeah. Uh, but that was launch. And then after that, you know, like, Nintendo 3DS did not start out well at all. It, it didn't. It really didn't. But then it turned out to be, like, one of the best Nintendo systems of all time. I love the 3DS so much. Has too many games for it, in my opinion. That's how good it is. Quiet horn. Uh, okay. Oh, never mind. I didn't even need to, like, switch anything. That worked out anyway. Oops. Speaking of working out. Um, Nintendo 3DS did not start well, because after that, it was um, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, which definitely made people buy a 3DS, no question. But it wasn't, it wasn't enough to get that spark yet, you know? I mean, it's cool how that, like, that's how the developers wanted Ocarina of Time to look, originally. And, um, you know, it it became that on 3DS, obviously. So 64 was too old for that, right? Um, and then after that came Star Fox 64 3D, you know, another remake, so... You know, it's, over, it's, it's a positive thing, but it just wasn't enough to really get that spark going. No new games yet. Um, and then you got some other games coming out, like Pokemon Rumble Blast, and I think there was, like, what was it? Like an Atari, like, game, like, in, like, a, what was it, like, Pac-Man or Galaga, that kind of thing. There's that game. I forget what it's called. And then the Steam picked up with Mario. You know, always, right? Super Mario 3D Land, Mario Kart 7. Games started to get really good. But then, I found that there was more remakes along the way. There was... Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. There was, uh... What else is there? There's... Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. Um... Now that I'm put on the spot, I can't think of everything right now. This music ain't helping. Uh... I mean, what else? I mean, yeah, like, what Nintendo's gonna be doing, uh, soon. There's, you know, Super Mario Maker. That's gonna be on 3DS. You got Yoshi's Woolly World going on 3DS, and then it's like, why? Like, I understand that, like, there's a local experience for Super Mario Maker. I get it. But for Yoshi's Woolly World, it's... Yeah, personally, me, in my opinion, I just don't see it to be a very good idea. It's gonna be a great product, right? It's gonna be good and everything, but the thing is, is that it, it just takes away from the Wii U completely. Like, I know the Wii U didn't do so well. It's like, oh well, you know, we gotta give a second chance, right? We we, we gotta give these games a. S I shook the Wii remote, maybe a bit too lightly. So, see you in a sec. 
Okay, I'm back. So what I was saying was is that with you know with Super Mario Maker I can see like a justifiable reason in my opinion. But the thing is, that's a local experience, so I can see how Street Pass would work on that. But with Yoshi's Woolly World, they're just taking the game and adding some more new stuff to it, you know? Every single level from the Wii U version, it's like, oh, could you be more blunt about it, really? You know what I find weird, actually, too? Um, I'm gonna talk about this game for a sec. When you put your star cursor over your health, it doesn't go transparent. Like, I understand it's trying to be in your face, like, oh, you have one health left, right? But, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's just kind of weird. I mean, I mean, you have low health in the game to begin with. Okay. I gotta concentrate here. This part's actually kind of challenging. Oh god! Make sure to shake that stick. Not in that way. Oh, I thought it was over me. Darn it. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? Okay, good. You throw the shell immediately. Good. Speed up this process, shall we? In your face! Or in your, in your chin. I don't know. It's one of those areas, I guess. I mean, it's part of your face, so never mind. What am I thinking? Yeah! Let's do this a fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoops. Darn it, it put me, like, back to the spot. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you get my point. If Wii U is dying, which I guess it is, don't plan its funeral if you're not gonna take it away just yet. Right? Oh god. Okay, that was close. Um, cause the thing is, is that if you're, you know, if you're saying that you're still gonna support the Wii U even after, uh, the next system comes out, don't plan its funeral yet. It's like, oh, well, you gotta give the games a second chance and it's on a dying system. It's on a system that's not good. So put it on a system that did sell well. And I get that, I get that concept, but the thing is... My heart stopped there for a second. Like, when you have a game system... You know, the one thing, right? The last resort... Um... Wow, there's not much load time on that star. Um... Like, in my mind, if you have a video game console... And, um... You know, it doesn't do well, there's some things that are wrong with it, some issues. The one thing that you can always say about a game console is, well, it has a good library of games. It's got some great exclusives. That's your last resort when you talk about a game console. Well, it's all about the games, right? And it's got a good selection of them. It's got, a, you know, a good amount of exclusives to go with it, to make it worth it at least, right? That's always your last resort. Putting Mario Maker and Yoshi's Woolly World on there they're not exclusives anymore. Nintendo's literally, like, killing the system. Now they're doing it. That's how I feel about the subject. That's always the one thing you can say when something's not going well. Well, at least you got a good exclusive library of games. Now you can't even say that much. So, anyways, those are my thoughts on the subject. Just, you know, just to talk about it before they come out. Um... Mario Maker comes out, or Super Mario Maker, I guess I should say, for Nintendo 3DS, like Smash. Um, it comes out December 2nd, and then Yoshi's Woolly World, or Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World, as it's going to be called, I think comes out February 3rd. So, yeah, I don't know. They say they want to support the Wii U after the NX is gone, or after the NX comes out, whatever it's going to be, but they're just... But it seems contradictory, because they're taking away its exclusives. So anyways, that's it for this video, I guess. Um, we have three stars left to go. Actually, let's get a look at it. Uh, by it, I mean the map. Alright. Didn't have to pay any star bits. Bits. Star it. Probable comet in orbit. Alright. And then there's that. And then there's that. Three more comets left to go, folks. And it looks like that one's next. <sighs> We're almost done. And I feel really sad about it, but... All good things must come to an end, right? So, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys next time. MarioFan110 out.